Hey, what's going on my crazy collectors out there? It's Local Oaks Collection. So, I had an appointment today in uh, Connecticut. We finished, so we're actually on our way home. It's about an hour and a half drive. In route here, I did see about $5 generals, give or take. So, we are going to stop at these $5 generals and see if we can find any hidden Pokemon cards. Whether they be under the shelf, on top of the shelf, in plain sight where they're supposed to be, or up at the very front behind the cash register where a lot of dollar generals have been keeping pokemon cards due to theft so we're not going to go too crazy because gas price is extremely high and the good thing is, is these dollar generals they're actually on their way home they're on our route so it's only maybe about a minute or two if that detour not even so we're going to send them in about five minutes or so in each of these dollar generals See if we can get lucky and find any hidden Pokemon cards or maybe some Pokemon cards in general. At the same time, we are also going to be seeing if we can find any of the Hot Wheel cards that I am missing from my past collections, as well as some new sets that came out for the new Doctor Strange movie and Thor Love and Thunder. So, without further ado, we're going to go on into this Dollar General and we're going to take a look and see if we can find anything good. Let's get our hunt on. Okay, so it looks like we did pretty well. We got some Hot Wheel cars, not bad. No, no uh, Pokemon cards, so we struck out there. Sorry for that up close personal of my face there. Anyways, so we have Doctor Strange, Groot Go Kart, as well as Almighty Thor. Pretty good. Need these to add to the collection. Couldn't find any of the older ones that I need. So we'll head on to our next Dollar General, Dollar General number two. Okay, so not too bad. About two minutes off the highway is where we actually uh, found this other Dollar General. Just General number two. Again, the usual. Check for hidden Pokemon cards on the shelves, on top of the shelves, anywhere else on the shelves check to see if there's any in plain sight as well as check and see if they have any up front as well as some hot wheel cars so without further ado let's go on into jala general number two Okay, so we're leaving Dollar General number two. As you can see, we actually did very well. Uh, she had a box full of Pokemon cards up front. Now, we didn't go crazy ridiculous because I would have spent a lot of money there. And I'm not trying to be greedy. She's a fellow collector as well. She said those came in yesterday. So today was a good day to stop by the, this Dollar General. We were able to pick up uh, four packs of these 
that I've been actually looking for. They are only Dollar General exclusive. They are the uh, Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. Uh, they are like those dollar packs. However, <laughs> due to price, prices going up on things, these were a little bit more than just a dollar. Uh, they were about three twenty-five a piece, and you also have another card, which you can hardly see it. Well, it's a mystery card. Um, so, without further ado, again, let's continue our journey home, and we'll stop by another Dollar General, Dollar General number three. Okay, so we are at our third Dollar General. You know the usual Pokemon cards hidden or in plain sight as well as some Hot Wheel cars. Let's go on in. Okay, so this third Dollar General, we actually did pretty well as you can see. Um, a little tough with the recording. I know it was a bit messy from the other recordings However, we did pick up uh, three tins. So we picked up one MIM, uh, two MIMs. So as you can see, I'm not gonna show you the same MIM. Uh, if I can get it together, here we go. We got the two MIMs, there's one, there's two twins in, and we also end up getting a Sleepy Snorlax. So I don't remember what tins these go, what uh, Pokemon cards they are in here, but it says uh, one of three, four cards, Snorlax, Darky, Mimic, uh, three TCG booster packs. So not bad. Good score on this uh, Dollar General number three. Let's uh, continue our journey. Okay, so we're at Dollar General number four. We're gonna go on in, see if we can find any hidden Pokemon cards. You know the deal, under the shelf, top of the shelf, in plain sight, behind the cash register, as well as some Hot Wheel cars that we need to complete our set. And here we go. We're going to try to record. Hopefully there's no music playing. So as you can see, it was a little messy in there, but we did pick up some cards right here, Unified Minds under the shelves. Again, I apologize for the messy recording in there. So let's head on to our fifth Dollar General and see if we can get lucky. Okay, my crazy collectors, we're at our fifth and final Dollar General. So you know the deal, under the shelves, top of the shelves, uh, in the normal spot, or behind the cash register. We're gonna check out, see what kind of Hot Wheels we can find, if we can complete our sets or not. So without further ado, let's go on into Dollar General number five. So, unfortunately, we struck out on our last one. However, there is a Bonds and Nobles, which is going to be our final stop. We're going to go take a look and see what kind of cards we can get there. Um, they don't have Hot Wheels, I believe. I know they have Funko Pops. So, maybe we'll browse around for the Funko Pops. But again, we'll see what kind of uh, Pokemon cards we can pick up. So, let's head on out. Okay, so we're almost home. Uh, I figured we make one detour stop, not a Dollar General, but a Barnes and Nobles. I uh, I know they do usually have a decent stock of cards. Um, just gonna try to look and see what they have. So here we are right now. 
Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Nobles, yeah. So let's go on in and take a look and see what we can get. Alrighty, so uh, we did okay. Uh, recording in there was actually kind of difficult. Um, it's, I don't know, I, I get very nervous sometimes recording in stores, so I do apologize. However, we did uh, find some Evolving Skies. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you call this. Maybe it's a Booster Blister Pack. Um, it's the uh, XQ. So that's it. Let's go on home and let's see what we can find in these boxes. All right, so that was a nice little trip that we had coming back from my appointment. So again, as you can see here, we have these three tins of the uh, Pokemon, which is two Mimic and the one Snorlax. So we're going to open up these two right here, as well as these four Unbroken Bonds. Put that back in focus there. This wonderful Pokemon set we actually got from Barnes and Nobles. And these two are gonna be the last ones we're gonna open, which are the hidden ones under the shelf. Pretty cool, you're gonna find mines. All right, so without further ado, let's get on into the opening. Not sure exactly what's in these tins. Um, as you can see here, uh, it says one in three foil cards, which I'm assuming would be this one right there. And you also have uh, three booster packs. So uh, let's see which ones we get. Pretty cool, Snorlax. Nice. Get that out ever so gently. There's a cold card, good luck. So we have a Vivid Voltage, Darkness Blaze, and a Rebel Clash. So that might be this team that we're going with. We got our, our uh, sleeves, as well as our top loaders to uh, check any good cards that we get. Now I have to look up on TCG what these ones are. I mean, Vivid, Vivid Voltage, I know we're definitely going to try to see if we can get that uh, Rainbow Pikachu again. One, two, three. I believe it was four. Yeah, four. Because there's the energy card right there. Alright. Hachula, Ndidi, Hatterina, Harakuda, Clarence, Meowth, Sure Skirt. Magikarp, Sand Gas, and a Grim Snow Hollow. Not bad. Alright. I'm gonna try to get into these pretty quick. Alright. Oh. You had a technical difficulty there. Just dropped, almost dropped the camera. Alright. Code card, good luck. One, two, three, four. Just gonna be gentle because of the setup that I have right now. Uh, let me adjust this camera. Here we go. All right, we have that wonderful energy card. Paris, Warren, Gilwood, Skimor, Starly, Torchic, Marina, Clink, the Trio, and we have a Muck. That was definitely a muck. Definitely a muck there. All right. Get into this vivid voltage. I always say uh, would have been nice to, or would be nice to actually get this pack open. Come on. Oh my gosh, I am like killing it today. Killing it. We are definitely killing it. Here we go. Anyways, as I was saying, actually I forgot what I was saying, but let's continue on with these wonderful Pokemon cards. Alright, we have a Water Energy, Opal, Meetang, 
Giraffe, Four Seed, Diddy, Jubar, Oshwats, Dusko. We have a Celebi. Hollow, I like that one. That's actually pretty badass. Like, you can see how it kind of goes in here. Actually, I don't even know what this. I'll have to take a look at that one, but that one looks definitely pretty cool, as you can see. I don't think it is an era card. I don't know. But as you can see, the shininess there, and it's not the typical hollow like this. It's not that typical hollow or this typical hollow. It's definitely something a bit different. So, you know what? Uh, definitely gonna put that off to the side there and get that sleeved up. We'll take a look and see uh, if it's anything of a value there, but that, that, is, that is definitely pretty cool. I don't recall seeing anything like that except for in the uh, new set, which, well, not the new set, but in the uh, Shiny Fates. That looks like a Shiny Fates card. All right, so you have the Mimic U. Get these tins out of here. Mimic U. Give you that code card. Good luck with that code card. I don't play it online. I actually don't even play Pokemon, but I definitely will take a look into seeing the rules and how to possibly play. So it looks like it's going to be the same standard ones. Uh, we're not going to open again this Mimic U. I'll say that for another day. So we got the Rebel Clash, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze. Now these packs, they seem to be open pretty well. Um, let's see. Code card, good luck. One, two, three, four. Wanted to say guest energy. We're gonna say uh, fire energy. Mm. Oh, look at that, what? First time I do that in a while. So we got the fire energy. We have Indeedy, we have Charbug, Metapod, Nidu, Skewit, Boprach, Alpine, Timpole. Looks very sad. Scared of sad, one of them. Toxel, and we have a Galarian Mr. Mine. Not bad. Not bad. Well, it is kind of bad. We're not getting any good pulls. Uh, we're going to save the vid voltage for later. So I hope you all had a good weekend. Or will have a good weekend, I should say. Um, it is Friday. So we'll take a look. Here's a cold card. Good luck. One, two, three, four. Oh, psychic energy. All right, Soul Rock, Powerful Energy, Carvian, Meltan, Snowball, Brunsweet, Nickit, Lavatora, we have a Hollow Melmetal, and nice, a Meow V. Not bad. Our first, uh, well, maybe our second decent card, because again, we're going to see what Celebi is. Cold guard, good luck. One, two, three, four. Uh, water energy? Oh, no. Leaf energy. Zebrusky. Dusclop, Beauty, Mikata, Pipk, Pucha, Rockruff, Blitz, Metal Gross, and a Hollow Tornidus. Alright. I know I keep saying alright. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. 
so let's see who else we're gonna get into. Uh, we want to do this one. No, we'll save this to the second class. So again, this these right here, I bought one of each art of Unbroken Bonds. They were pretty, I mean, a little overpriced. I believe it was like three bucks I paid for them. Usually they are a dollar, and you only get that one pack in there. Uh, so these are the Unbroken Bonds. We're gonna do this one last. So let's get on into the opening about this one. As those cards just fly by. So you get a pretty cool hollow. And these cards, there's only three of them, so you have to, I believe the middle one is the only card you uh, get. So, yeah, we'll, uh, it's not really much of a trick there, but we take the last one. Alright, Dust Island, Carvana, and a Weasley. Hollow Weedle, put that over in the corner. Yeah, he's, I give it to Leon Hart. He, he actually opens them pretty well. Uh, a few other people open them pretty well. I know I've been saying it for a while. Uh, Leaf Energy, Ghastly, and a Celebi Hollow. Not bad. Uh, I gotta figure a good method to uh, open these Pokemon cards. I know. Some use actually scissors. I'd be a little nervous to use in scissors. Uh, afraid of cutting something. Rusted shield. We got. Now these three packs, you don't get any um, code cards or anything like that. Well, actually, I believe the two packs that we're going to open last, they have like some weird card. It's not even a code card in it. Some weird card. You know that. All right, we have a Rhydon, Sandalit, and a Persian. Come on, let's get something good. I mean, so this is Unbroken Bonds. Uh, we're going to be looking for the God of All and actually no, God of All and Sylveon GX is good. But the top one that we're actually looking for is the Resham and Charizard. And I believe, yeah, Gardevoir and Sylveon. La Vista Hollow. That would be so freaking cool if I got the uh, Charizard GX in this. I highly doubt it, I would, but that would be pretty awesome to get. Alright. Delvation Spray Z, Elspur, and we have a Golden Hollow. Golden Hollow. Right, here's these two wonderful Unified Minds. Alright, the three pack here of Evolving Skies. Got this from uh, Bonds and Nobles. There's a cold card, good luck. Pretty cool coin there. Alright, we got some various arts here. We're gonna save the um Umbreon last. Maybe we can get the Umbreon at the moon. Howling at the moon, right? Or looking at the moon, whatever at the moon. Smiling at the moon. Cold card good luck. One, two, three, four. Yep. Ooh, that was kind of messed up. Uh oh, fire energy. We have digging gloves. Stormy Mountain. Shelligans, Shanigans, Skolish, Pitilo, Pipikachu, Pumpkin, Rufflet, we have a Gydrast, and we have the Apple Turn, Apple Team, that's a big boy, that's a big boy. Code card, good luck. One, two, three, four. Psychic energy. We need some good psychic energy right now. Goldie, Bravery, Nuzleaf, Tilpole, Cutie Fly, Appleen, Nickets, Salabubi, I'm 
grappling. And we have a pincer. What a happy pull. This is, this is terrible. This is terrible. This is very terrible. We only got like two, two decent cards. It's terrible. One, two, three, four. All right, we have metal energy, scroll, Yusa ring, Swoobats, Melreep, Drowsy. I'm feeling drowsy after this opening, I really am. Skaggy, Fees Bass, Hitchmana, Aroma Lady. We have a Slacking King. As a hollow, that was it. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. I really was hoping that this was gonna not be a bust of an opening. Definitely a bust of an opening. I'm about to go in the back really quick and go get another. <sighs> yeah, see, this is a card. I'm about to go and go get myself another uh, Evolving Skies pack or two. Maybe, hopefully, get something good with that. We got the Water Energy. We have Gibble. We have a Swoodo. So I'm gonna just disappear for a moment. Uh, Demi Last Pack Magic. Ugly card. Energy flexion and a drill bar. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna leave it myself up. Say the Umbreon for last pack magic. Now these packs right here, I believe I have a box full of them. Uh, I'm gonna do them at some point. Hopefully uh, we can get something good. I know uh, at some point they were actually getting weighed uh, at the Dollar General stores to see if they can have you know a hollow or something like that because you can weigh these three card packs uh, I don't remember what the weight is but we can actually definitely visit that at some point Boo Snake Fletching Chimchu Pickel Dini uh, Teddy Sir Lily Pup Shop Hedu alright please like subscribe check out my other videos I know the last one was uh not really um, card related or collector related. Uh, it was definitely delayed. Um, that was my one of my dogs, Rocky. He was eight years old. He was actually very young. Uh, we had to actually put him back down in um, May. Code card, good luck. I know this is not really the time to be talking about it, but um, he was definitely a good dog. Uh, very tough time. We still have his brother Dash, which is the other dog in the video. Um, he was officially like my my dog, legit. Rocky, he was my in-laws dog, but they were brothers nevertheless. And uh, Dash is doing pretty well. He's been doing pretty well with it. So just gotta try to stay positive, go on and forth, and make time with what we can with Dash. Uh, he is eight years old, so. Alright, full face guard, and we are ending on a crappy card. Well, again, thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and again, check out some of the other videos that I have. Be safe and stay crazy and collecting, and be safe.